Well, welcome back to our series called Why Pray. It's a 40-day journey that we here at Foothill Bible Church are on out of this book by John DeVries, and we hope you've enjoyed the, the series to this far, uh, th- thus far. It's day 13, and it is January 31st. If you're binging and catching up, uh, it may be after that, but if you're with us, it is January the 31st. I can't believe that we already have made it through the first month of the year. <laughs> what a, a month it has has been. And uh, as we pick up in the series, our theme for this week has been why pray first? That's the question that we've asked all week long. And um, today is uh, day 13, and the question is, uh, it's, it's the example set uh, by Christ. It's the example of... Christ, the one he set for us. Why would we do it? Because, because Jesus did it. And, and the next two days of our, our devotional center on the, the example that was set um, when, when, when people prayed. First, that, that Jesus did it first. And then tomorrow, we're going to see how the church set the example. And I mentioned a few days ago that, that sometimes I will dive headlong into something, whether it's a, a meeting or or, or something like that, and, and, and sometimes we'll forget to pray for a meal, and I could even forget to ask God to, to bless a, a journey that we go on. I know that um, I, I grew up praying for journeys, and you may have done the same. Your parents called it traveling mercies that, that you were praying for. It, 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 and if Jesus showed us that it's important to pray before we do everything, before we do anything, what, what could really change if, if we honored what Jesus was, was showing us? Maybe, maybe, perhaps in a difficult situation, we wouldn't get so angry if we prayed first. Maybe we would have more wisdom about the, the decisions that, that we had to make if first we, we decided to stop. If not just for a few seconds to, to, to send up a prayer about the decision that we were about to make. And, and here's what I think sometimes. Um, didn't God give me, didn't God give me a sound and reasonable enough mind to make some of these decisions on my own? Well, of, of course he did. But I can fall in the trap of, of saying, I have, I have all the wisdom that I need and, and I'll make the decision myself. After all, doesn't God trust me? I had someone ask me the other day if I were praying for one of the, the playoff games in the, in the, in the, at the, here at the end of the football season. And, and the astute observation that the person had was, was how does God choose which team is going to win? Because it, it, it seems that there would be the same amount of people who were praying for the 49ers as who were pr- praying for, for the Rams to win the game. <laughs> Does God really does God really dictate the end of a football football game anyway? And how do I feel? How do I feel about God when my team loses? My answer to the the person who asked the question was this. Maybe the answer was that that either way, that either way, it was important that I was praying to God in the first place, that I was asking him, that I was communicating with him. Does he care about those little little things? Of of course he does. <laughs> And sometimes the outcome is less important than that, that the relationship I was building with God was. A- after all, Jesus, Jesus prayed that somehow he would, would not have to go through with the plan. Remember when he was in, in Gethsemane, Gethsemane, he was saying, God, if, if you, the cup can pass from me, please get me out of here. Um, but ultimately his, his prayer was, your will, your will, God, be done. That is a, a huge reminder for us, uh, not only that the 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 answers in his hands, but th- that we would spend the the time to pray in the first place. So here's the here's the discussion question for today. Give examples of the consequences of failing to pray first, and simply plunging into a task with human plans and efforts. Are the consequences of this pattern of activity always bad? And I think that's. I think we know the answer to that, but for each one of us, um, let's weigh that, that question today. And here, here's the meditation. Jesus began all major phases of his life, not in planning, but in prayer. So let's start by doing that today. 
God, we really have no idea what, what lay ahead in the rest of this day. But God, you're well familiar with how you've laid out um, the plans for, for us. Maybe this is the end of the day for, for the, the folks watching. And God, you orchestrated the day exactly how you wanted it to go. Nothing surprised you and nothing happened that you didn't plan. That's an amazing thought for us. So God, would it always remind us that, that still the importance is to pray, to pray first because God, your son did it and he showed us how to do that. Would we always follow your example and pray first before everything that we do? God, thank you for this day and for the opportunities to prove you right, um, that it's, it is the best to pray first in all we do. Bless these people and bless our time. We pray it in your son Jesus' name. Amen. So that's day 13, end of January. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow, February 1st. See you tomorrow.